Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Trinity Parish. Today we celebrate the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Your announcements today. Small groups will meet this Tuesday at 6 o'clock in the meeting room. For all current past members of the parish that would like to join the Holy Trinity Council of the Knights of Columbus, the council will be having a dinner meeting on Thursday, June 22nd at 6.30 at Chef Ray's Cafe on St. Clair Avenue. Council will provide $10 toward the cost of each dinner. If you would like to attend or need more information, please contact Jack DiDonato, Al Fricano, or Lanyoni. Please make sure your cell phone is in the silent or off mode. Please stand as we begin our celebration of the Eucharist as we sing our opening hymn, number 634, Come Ye Thankful People Come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, my guest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God in honor. Peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God in the highest, glory to God in the highest, glory to God, glory to God in all. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you 
take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God in the earth. Peace to people of goodwill. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God. Glory to God in honor. Peace to people of O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and near to the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the Israelites came to the desert of Sinai and pitched camp. While Israel was encamped here in front of the mountains, Moses went up the mountain to God. Then the Lord called to him and said, Thus shall you say to the house of Jacob, Tell the Israelites, You have seen for yourselves how I treated the Egyptians, and how I bore up you up on eagles' rings, and brought you here to myself. Therefore, if you hearken to my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my special possessions, dearer to me than all the other people. Through all the earth is mine. You shall be to me a kingdom of priests, a holy nation. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. made 
us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, Christ, while we were still helpless, yet died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by his blood, will we be saved through him from the raft? Indeed, if we, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by his life. Not only that, but we will also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them because they were troubled and abandoned like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send out laborers for his harvest. Then he summoned his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and to cure every disease and every illness. The names of the twelve apostles are these. First, Simon, called Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, the son, of, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John, Philip, 
and Bartholomew, Thomas and Matthew, the tax collector, James, the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus, Simon from Cana, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus sent out these twelve after instructing them thus, Do not go into pagan territory or enter a Samaritan town. Go, rather, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, drive out demons. Without cost, you have received. Without cost, you are to give. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them. First line of our Gospel today. And that line stood out for me because on Friday we celebrated the most sacred heart of Jesus. The sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them. Even today, he continues to reveal the pure love that burns in his most sacred heart for each one of us and for every human being. Yes, he's opened his heart to us and to all humanity. From the moment that his heart was pierced on the cross, his heart has been opened so that we can see there and experience the love we long for. Yes, Jesus so wants his love to be known. So he's opened his heart to us. If only human beings would turn to him and accept that love. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them. His heart is moved with pity, even for those who ignore him, mock him, persecute him, crucify him by their sins. Did he not pray from the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. In the last few weeks, I've been outraged that the Los Angeles Dodgers were honoring a group who called themselves the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. And openly, they openly mock our Lord, his passion on the cross. They openly mock our Blessed Mother and consecrated women, religious sisters and nuns. Yes, I've been outraged by that and did not know how to adequately respond until earlier this week when I saw that our bishops were encouraging us to respond by praying a litany of the Sacred Heart in reparation. It just so happened that they were honoring that group on the feast day or the solemnity of the Most Sacred Heart. So that's what we did this past Friday after the daily mass. It was very powerful. At the, entr at the exits of the church, I do have a litany of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. For those of you like, you know, throughout the month of June, the, it's a month that's devoted to the Sacred Heart. So if you too were outraged and would like to respond in some way, I just encourage you to offer up that litany of the Sacred Heart. It's a very powerful prayer. A few lines from it. Heart of Jesus, aflame with love for us. The response is, have mercy on us. A few others. Heart of Jesus, overwhelmed with insults, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, broken for our sins, have mercy on us. I like the, one of the last lines. Touch our hearts and make them like your own. Touch our hearts and make them like your own. Or you can also access um, that litany of the Sacred Heart very easily online. At the sight of the crowds, 
Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them. His most sacred heart. I believe that's the remedy and answer to the ills of the modern world that is seeking fulfillment without God. You know, our hearts are made for love. The human heart is made for love, to love and to be loved. And the ultimate fulfillment of that love that we are seeking can only be found in God. As St. Augustine so beautifully put it, you have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in thee. And unfortunately, there are so many in our world today who are trying to determine for themselves what will bring them fulfillment. Without God and outside of God. And in the process, they seek to redefine reality with no respect for the designs of his heart, with no respect for the way he has designed ours. And they end up empty and unfulfilled. Or as Pope Leo XIII put it, they give themselves up to their passions and finally wear themselves out by excess of liberty. I just came across that line earlier in this month and it was very powerful. They give themselves up to their passions and finally wear themselves out by excess of liberty. At the sight of the crowds, Jesus' heart was moved with pity for them. Yes, even for them. For those who wear themselves out. Yes, even for them, perhaps especially for them, our merciful Savior reveals his open heart. And he says, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith and confidence, let us place our needs and petitions 
before our loving Father. For all the shepherds of the church, may God bless and empower them in their ministry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For civic leaders, may God guide them in their working to protect the most vulnerable among us, especially the unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who feel troubled or abandoned, May they know the loving presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who are gathered here, may we be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit to continue Christ's work on earth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Catholic fathers will foster vocation awareness among their children knowing that they will be helping to reveal the Heavenly Father's love by their prayers, guidance, and example. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have died, may they rest in the embrace of the Good Shepherd in heaven. And for William Ray Pyle, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. By the trusting in your goodness and your mercy, we place these needs before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now our preparation hymn is number 790, The Summons. Sing with us, number 790. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name. Will you care for true and kind and never be the same? Will you risk the hostile stare should your life attract or scare will you let me answer prayer in you and you in me will you let the blinded see if i would call your name will you Set the prisoners free and never be the same. Will you kiss the leper clean and do such as this unseen and admit to what I need? you and you in me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and give, <clears throat> giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of a reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the age of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you always. Amen. Let's offer to the sign of peace.
Behold, Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Why we share in the Eucharist. Sing with us, number 861. Praise and thanksgiving, number 861. and thanksgiving Father we offer for all things living you have made good harvest of sown fields fruits of the orchard Hey, from the moon fields, blossom and wood. Lord, bless the labor we bring to serve you, that with our neighbor we may be fed. Sowing or tilling, we would work with you. Harvesting, milling for daily bread. Father, providing food for your children. By your wise guiding, teach us to share one with another, so that rejoicing with us all others may know your care. Then will your blessing reach every people, freely confessing your gracious hand. Where you are reigning, no one will hunger. Your love sustaining, fruitful the
Let us pray. <clears throat> As this reception of your Holy Communion, O oh Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. Yesterday I went to our priesthood ordination. We, um, Bishop uh, Bonner, ordained three new priests for, for our diocese. That's uh, good news. Uh, there are not too many, though, in the, in the pipeline, so we need to continue to pray for an increase of vocations uh, to the priesthood, especially in our diocese. Uh, that's what our Lord is inviting us to do again in our gospel today. Pray the Lord of the harvest, he says, to send out laborers for his harvest. So let's offer up an Our Father uh, for that particular intention. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. A special blessing for all of the fathers of our parish um, on Father's Day. God our Father, in your wisdom and love you made all things. Bless the fathers of our parish that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. All well, the fathers of the parish, I thank you so much for your strong witness and uh, happy, happy Father's Day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our concluding hymn is number 596. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior. Number 596. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, Word of the Father, calling us to life, Son of God, who leads us to freedom. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Word who calls us out of darkness, are the word who leads us into light. You are the word who brings us through the desert. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, O Christ our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life. Son God, who leads us to freedom, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the one who prophets hope and long for. You are the one who speaks us today. You are the one who leads us to our future, glory to you. Lord Jesus Christ, praise to you, O Christ our Savior, word of the Father, calling us to life, Son of God, who leads us to freedom, glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ.